Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to work on QR code in Salesforce without single line of code. So how to generate this QR code and how to use it very simple without single line of code I will show you in this video. So if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all you have to open your Salesforce app. So I just open my over here you can see just click on this object manager. So under object manager you can choose any kind of you know custom or standard object based on your requirement. Um, I'm choosing this account object as a standard object right under the field and relationship I want to create one custom field as a formula text field. So based on this formula it's automatic calculate the QR code. So based on this QR code we can scan and we can put it anywhere as you want. That is very good and if you need like some static value uh, you want to convert that static value into the QR code. So in this case you can use this QR code. Right. So under the field and relationships just click on this one. Create new field. In your case you can create new one. I already created one custom formula field and that is called QR code so just let me open it this custom field here so once you open it now this is formula field here you can see right like data type is formula I see tax and under the this formula so let me edit it let me show you the the basic requirement or you know basic functionality of this formula so under this formula you can see like image image under the image we have like cuchar.io so this is the website so once you open this website so this is a third party website you can use it like this so let me open it so here you can see the quick chart we have quick chart quick barcode so based on the input and output it's automatic showing this one so under here you can see like here is started you can take anything from here as well like QR code right so QR code API so here you can see so once you use this QR code API so here to here you can see like this right so let me copy it and paste in the next text you can see the QR code is automatic generated by default it's a 150 into 150 size so based on your requirement you can change this size or it's up to you okay so just open this QR code API under the QR code API you can see like default size 150 color everything you can see you can change based on your requirement these kind of things so let's say here uh, I want to change some you know color background color you can change it based on your need requirement emoji you can add the emoji as well there are so many things right so here you can see these things let me add like dark or light this this so here once you use this kind of you know like uh, this QR code API let me copy and paste into the new tab you will be see this QR code here like this okay but uh, in my case I want to use this API as a formula in my and you know Salesforce so now you can see here to here you can see this one um, Salesforce hunt right so text I want to make it my YouTube channel as a QR code so that's why I'm mentioned my um, you know handler YouTube handler here so once you edit it and save it just cancel it and under the page layout you have to add this page, uh, you know like formula field it's automatic added by default but you can check it double check close check right so under here uh, in the bottom here you can see the QR code right so based on this requirement you can use it like this and once you added this field just save it and uh, you can open any kind of you know like account records account record space right so let me open the account here right click open it and once you open it you can create new one based on your requirement let me create a new account record here and this time I'm taking let's say demo or vacation something like that like vacation so vacation here you're gonna this is the health 
corporation in Canada. So just let me save it. Once you save it, this new account here under the detail tab page. Right. So let me open it here. Now immediately you can see the QR code is generated. Once you scan this QR code in your, your mobile or any kind of your know, devices you have. So definitely to automatic showing my YouTube handler or YouTube link and you can open it like this. Okay. So once you open it uh, in your mobile, you will be see this kind of things. Okay. You can try once in your mobile. I hope so. So you will be get my YouTube channel from here. Right. So once you open it, you will be see my YouTube channel like this. So let me open that, uh, you know, value from QR code. A QR code and let me you will be see this kind of things here like HTTP or something like that so here just you can just copy it paste it new tab remove it and now this is the QR code of my YouTube channel handler right so once you open that uh, uh, you know like QR code you will be see my channel like this in your mobile or any kind of devices like this so here you can see my channel um, you can book one-to-one -one session for you know like uh, career guidance guidance and uh, if you have any doubts you can book me right Udemy course you can purchase my Udemy course you can connect with me in LinkedIn and my blog as well so you can see I already created lots of video in each and every releases so this is the very beneficial to learn new features in Salesforce. So I hope you can watch my each and every video. Very useful, very helpful. And to make your expertise in your new features in Salesforce. So this is all about like how to generate the core QR code without single line of code. And this is the very good. You can increase the size. You can change the background color. Just go ahead that particular website quick chart or dot io and then you can implement the things if you have like some static value if you have like dynamically you can programmatically or you can use any lightning web component to use like dynamic value as a generate the qr code okay guys so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of updates from my side. So till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching, guys.